Hello, my name is Eleanor and I decided I'm going to talk a little bit about my beauty journey and <sighs> the mountains and the valleys and the crossing of rivers and all of the joys that I've experienced <laughs> up into what you see today. So to start off, is actually skin. I had terrible skin from the jump um, and basically my whole life. Even when I was born, I had a patch of eczema on my face and I had it pretty bad up until like I was 16 or 17. And what was ironic is my pediatrician told my parents, you know, you won't have to worry about acne because her skin is so dry. Guess what? I had acne. Terrible acne. I mean, crazy bad acne. It was it was very severe and I had different medications I was taking. I did the topicals and it was definitely at first it was like oh yeah puberty and then i was like 15 16 and they're like oh yeah that's usually supposed to go away by now and i'm like cool i still have all this stuff all over my face and it's weird because i don't remember much about it now like how i felt but i do obviously i was self-conscious about it in, in different ways. I remembered that I didn't like the way makeup looked over it. And so I thankfully didn't put a lot of makeup on to cover. And I had a really good set of friends. I was never bullied or made fun of, but it was always something on my mind. Like, I mean, I just had really terrible skin, um, but not to the point of being like detrimental socially. Like I always had really good, strong social relationships. So I went, my dad really was the facilitator of this and all love to my dad because he was tired of me not having good skin just as much as I was. And I went on Accutane. So not a lot of people know what Accutane is. I'll give you a little rundown. It is a very, very, very intense medication. And I was 18 when I started the process. So to be on Accutane as a woman is a very big deal, a very big deal, because this drug is so intense that it was causing terrible birth deformities. So what did they do for this is if you were a woman who was taking Accutane, you had to be on birth control because the government was tired of being sued for deformed babies. I mean, just talking about it is so fucked, right? The fact, if a pregnant woman can't have it, I don't think anyone should have it, but who am I? So to so first to get the drug, I had to be prescribed on the pill on birth control. I had to take it for two months or three months before actually starting the dosage. Not only that, I had to register with the government that I was taking it and that I was in fact on the birth control. I had to do like a little intro video. I mean, this is crazy and blesses to my dad because he had no idea about any of this. He took it in the 80s. It was the only thing that worked for him. So he was like, I'm tired of experimenting. I was tired of experimenting. Let's just go to what works. Um, so the other thing is, <laughs> I watched this little intro video, blah, blah, blah. In order to, in order for me to fill my prescription every month, I had to take a test. So I had to go online, pass a, a 10 question quiz, and then I had to go for labs. So I had to get labs done. I can't remember even what they were testing. And then of course, to make sure I wasn't pregnant, I had to take a pregnancy test. So I did that every month, but I had to do it within like five or seven days to fill the script. 
Like, because if I didn't make it within this window, then it would expire. Long story short, it was, I did not have a good relationship with the, what the hell are they called? The skin doctor? What is that? Dermatologist. That office was a nightmare. And so I, I remember I was in college and so my, I still had like terrible skin up until this point, right? I was 19 and I just remember being so confused about it and I was in Arkansas and I was trying to figure out like my time crunch and I just remember crying because I was like, I remember this day, it like makes me emotional. I was like, I just want good skin. Like it's just been years. It's It's been years and I have been through so much and it was such an exhausting process for me to go to go through. Now, I will say it was the only thing that worked uh, for me at that time with what I knew because it was years later where I started to get into more information about diet and the gut and <laughs> healing your body in other ways, but I didn't have that information at the time. I wasn't knowledgeable about it. So, the thing that it does is it dries, apparently it dries you out so much. So that was another thing is they're like, oh yeah, I'd like have a lot of chapstick. Like it just dehydrates you. <laughs> it's like crazy what we're giving young people. It's crazy. And I really think that a lot of my hormonal imbalances that I am still, still working on balancing is from this time, is from being on the pill and then just um, some other things like my intense working out and eating like a bodybuilder. <sighs> That's probably another episode. But the skin journey was a lot. It was a lot. Somehow this is still the best it's ever looked in, in my life. And I don't know how it keeps getting better. Um, but I also wasn't able to tan I only burned and like gained like freckles is like what I would tell people. I could not tan until I moved to Hawaii and that was um, a spiritual time and there was also a lot of intention, a lot of different intention than I had before about wanting to connect um, with the sun and like with the natural elements because I thought that it's also weird that somehow humans have evolved to be incompatible with the sun, like the Caucasians burn. Like that's, that's kind of mind blowing to me that we as humans are incompatible with some things in the earth and beyond it. I know there's a lot of other elements. Anyway, it was in 2019 where I actually had my first tan in my life. So I was 24 and I was really conscientious about it. I still wore hats, long sleeves, blah, blah, blah. But I was able to start to absorb the sun in a way that <laughs> felt like my body or bodies are meant to do so. So that's a little bit of the skin piece. 